If you drive north on I-5 out of Seattle, keep going a little further and you'll eventually find the small town of Cedro Woolly. It's not far from the water and the unspoiled majesty of the Pacific Northwest. It was here on a rainy Saturday in early December Remember, we always thank God for it. that a bittersweet Christmas played out. Dear God and Heavenly Father, my mother used to always tease me and just other people that, oh, one day I was going to be famous. They always said I should have been a stand-up comic or whatever. And I was like, no, if I was to be famous, I want it for my charity. Now, if anything, I'm going to be famous for the fact that I'm dying. Lord, we just say this in your name. Amen. Amen. Some things in life aren't negotiable. Time is one of them, and Temper Jones was running out of it. And so, she and her family have gathered for this early but last Christmas together. I never in a million years would have thought I'd get cancer, let alone cancer four times, and let alone be dead by 44. Oh, this is my med container. Her cancer, which has now taken hold for the fourth time, is like a hungry animal. If she doesn't feed it with massive doses of painkillers, it gnaws away at her. I take that many. And she knows that this time, it won't be denied what it wants most, her life. But in Tempra's case, it'll be on her terms. I'm the one taking control. I'm the one who's telling cancer, you don't get this one, I get to decide. Washington was one of the first states to legalize pot. It was also among the first to legalize same-sex marriage. And in 2008, voters would lead the way to another first, passing a law that legalized physician-assisted suicide. God wants me to do this so I can help others, hopefully get this legalized in Arizona and help these people to not be in pain the last couple months of their life. There's no reason for it. There isn't. Her idea is that, you know, cancer can take everything away and it has this, like, these reins on you, you know, and has this control over you, but what she wants to do is take some of that control back and, you know, tell you that, you know, like, I can do this on my own terms, you know. With her days running short and her daughter engaged, Tempra wanted to strike a last minute deal with her God. At my daughter's wedding, dancing with my kids, I danced with my son, and I got to dance with my daughter. That's all I wanted to do. I said, let me make it to my daughter's wedding and dance. And then when it was a father-daughter dance, he, um, he came over to me and daddy's always joking and he was like, hey girl, you can get one more dance for pops. And the whole time he cried, I cried. And honestly, all I could do was apologize for what he's going through. I'm his only child. Did it take you a while to, to get on board with her decision or were you behind her? I thought about a few minutes when she told me she wanted to do and I looked at her and said, sweetie, um, don't like it, but I don't blame you. So do what you need to do and I'll back you 100%. And so for Tempra and her family, there is the simple joy of one last Christmas together, full of laughs, love, and of course tears, but there's also acceptance and peace. Things smell sweeter. I love harder, I forgive faster. It's a different world and that's what I want for everybody to know. I can honestly say I like me and it sucks now that I'm dying, but I really like me now. I like what I've done with the rest of my life. I like what I'm leaving as a legacy. I won't let cancer dictate when I die. It's hard to believe, listening to all the laughs and Seahawk chants, that Tempra Jones has less than 24 hours to live. Less than 24 hours left to laugh and love her kids, her boyfriend, her family, and friends. The things that go through your mind, too, to know that you're going to die on this date, da 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 it's so weird. Tempra has stage four metastatic cancer. It's spread to her spine and her pelvic region and her lungs. 
She's decided to legally end her life. Washington is one of nine states that allows it. But first she had to have two different doctors agree that she had less than six months to live and that she had no quality of life. Not you don't see this as suicide. You oh, see not that. at all. Not at all. This is a kindness. Totally and completely not to just me, but my family. Why can we do this for our animals? Because we love them. We don't want them in pain. But you want grandma to be, you know, totally completely incontinent, doesn't know who anybody is, and is in pain. But this isn't only a story about death with dignity. This is also a love story. Tempera had just met her boyfriend, Allboy, when she got the news that her cancer had returned for the fourth time. He said he wasn't going anywhere. And I tried, and I tried, and he's still here. Have you ever, since you made this decision, wavered? Many a times I thought, I can hold, hold on. My kids aren't ready for this. Um, what if I'm just giving up? I'm, what if Sally baby and just, you know, tired? Or, oh, I thought it all. But it never stayed for very long. I'm just really ready to be out of pain and stop the grieving for my family and myself. Tempera had mapped out exactly how she wanted her final hours to play out. And that included one final round of tequila shots. I am the person I am today because of you guys. Oh, no. I can't do it anymore. I tried my best. Love you, too. Salud. Salud. I am going to mix. I'm going to put apple juice in the In the next room, her friend Deborah, a licensed caregiver, following prescribed guidelines, mixed the medicinal cocktail that would end her life. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. This is where we need to be with her. All right, so that's the whole one. That's gross. Within a half hour, Tempera had drifted off to sleep. While not far away, her friends kept watch outside. Nothing hurts harder than to see someone you love scream out in pain on a daily basis. It just cuts to your soul. I think it was very, very brave of her. And I know she was, I, I even tried to talk her out of it. <laughs> and I don't know why, because of being selfish, because I didn't want her to leave. She fought and fought and fought. So it's not like she lost her battle to cancer. She got to have her final say of how things were going to play out and how her life was going to actually end. There's a famous poem that talks about the dash, not the date of birth or death, but what we do in between that time, how we lived our dash. Temper Jones lived it on her terms, giving back, paying it forward, fighting cancer, and then when she could no longer bear the pain, the loss of dignity, and seeing all of those around her suffer, she exited on her terms, in her way, defiant and beautiful to the end. There's nothing wrong with dying. As long as you know you have another place, and you know we do have another place. It's another journey of your life.